retirement of extraordinary coach Ron Mack McBride at the end of the 2011 season ushered in more turbulence than anyone could expect. The unforeseen departure of John L. Smith led to the hiring of interim coach Jody Sears. Coach Sears was originally hired away from Washington State University in January of 2012 to be the defensive coordinator. However, Coach Sears took on the additional role of head coach with excitement and enthusiasm for the future. In his dual role as head coach and defensive coordinator, the Wildcat defense improved dramatically and the team as a whole became a closer, more competitive unit. Coach Sears is now the permanent head coach and brings 20 years of coaching experience from the Pac-12 and Big Sky Conferences to Wildcat Nation. The team responded well to the additional adversity forced by the erratic off-season personnel moves. The team grew into a family and when outsiders compromise your family, you rally around and protect them at all costs. This is exactly what the 2012 Weaver State football team did. They grew to be a close-knit family that took care of each other and protected what was most important, the family. The 2012 schedule was equal in intensity to the rather difficult offseason. It was one of the toughest schedules faced by any team in the NCAA Division I Football Championship subdivision. This forced the young Weaver State football team to grow, develop, and reach a championship level earlier than expected. The luxury of player development was at times difficult and demanding. Coaches and players were asked to step up and do whatever it took to achieve success on and off the field. As with all adversity, you either succeed or fail. You succumb to the pressure or you rise above it and live to fight another day. The 2012 Weaver State football team did just that. They grew, gained experience and progressed and they lived to fight another day. 2012 was indeed a growing and building year and a painful but powerful precursor to the upcoming spring practices and fall football season. Sometimes the realization that the hard way is the right way though, not pleasant to live, brings advanced mental and physical toughness that could not be gained any other way. The 2013 season will indeed prove the truth that the hard way, in the long run, is the right way.
lot of yeah. to enter the club tonight. What? 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 But it's gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. me and my clique, we don't give a rock. We don't give a rock. I, I, Trick daddy. You got it. Yeah. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. 2012 was a tough year, but the growth of skill, experience, and family closeness that the Weber State University Wildcat football team experienced during the season holds promise for a great season in 2013 and beyond. There are a number of reasons to be excited for the next year. Weber State finished the season as the 16th best kickoff return team in the FCS, the 6th best FCS net punt team, and had the 3rd best defense in the conference. Outstanding individual efforts were too numerous to mention them all, but Tony Epperson had an outstanding year punting. C.J. Tuckett set a school rushing yard with 289 yards coming in one game against Idaho State, and Anthony Morales finished third in the country in tackles per game. The coaching staff has gained more experience working together, and newly hired offensive coordinator Robin Fugard brings a wealth of knowledge to the offense. The team is physically stronger, mentally stronger, and ready to attack the Big Sky Conference. All Weber State fans are eager for a great season in 2013. Go Wildcats!